Welcome to Beyond the Between the Bricks Are. I'm your host, Jabbo, and today we're going to be talking about a Lego haul that is to help me to get pieces for the cafe corner, number two. <laughs> and I think I'll take a look at this Bionicle Visceric Battle Ram set. I verified the contents from this, uh, the seller uh, that sent it to me. I did have to get a couple of small parts that were missing. A couple of parts I thought were missing actually weren't missing. They just, I misplaced them. They were in the lot, but uh, everything else was there. So I think he did actually a pretty good job with this listing. Uh, but the, we got two packages from Bricklink. And I am keeping track of all the money that I spend both on sets that I buy to get parts from and parts that I buy from Bricklink, eBay, or Bricks and Pieces. And I made a mock. It's actually my microphone. So I'm using a Rode Go 2. Not confusing. Not to be confused with GoPro. <laughs> but this microphone is inside here. And this is... I made a Lego holder for it. So... I'm supposed, supposed to clip it on or maybe attach a lapel mic to it, something like that. So when I'm behind the camera, I won't hold this. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this it's a Lego microphone holder for a little tiny camera. I mean, not a camera, a little tiny microphone. Like that. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, so this, this method of piecing together the cafe corner is not for everybody. I did not leave myself a place to put my feet. <laughs> so first of all, let's see what's in this, this package here. All right. Ah, and this, okay, this will lead itself, and I think this other package will as well. But Amy K asked, how are you going to go about acquiring the 36 pieces of the 4468 which is this part this is a roof this goes on the roof 4468 or 4460b i think either one works for the, uh, the cafe corner but you need 36 of them and they're not cheap i mean they're not like a dollar but they're like finding people that have them for 50 cents or less is kind of hard so I did find a seller that had 16 of them. So there were 16 here. And then the uh, another part that was going to be hard for me to find a set that had a lot of dark blue 1x4s. Uh, so these these 1x4s, I just went ahead and got those while I was in a store. I got these corner white corner pieces in a store. I got, oh look, check it out. He also put used on a bag that had all used. Probably a good idea to separate things, but that looks pretty good. He actually had a 4 by 10 plate, so I don't forget about the tipper trucks. And yes, I will be doing the tipper truck army video. It's just I've been waiting till I got my microphone, and then I want to schedule things. I do want to do a live stream and all that. It's just a matter of having the time to be away from work. So these, I think everything here is something for the cafe corner that I just went ahead and got... Uh, in, while I was in his store. So I'm going to, after I do the video, I'll go through and check off the checklist I have. And then we got other parts. Oh, the yeah, definitely the frogs. He had the five frogs, the reddish brown stairs. I don't know where all my limes went. I should have these little cherry limes, lime cherries, whatever they are. Uh, so I th let me go look at the, what, the, what I paid for this stuff. I'll just go ahead and tell you. <clears throat> All right, so Bonfire Bricks had these for 63 cents each. That's pretty expensive for a slope piece, in my opinion, but it being that it's discontinued or it's not currently in production, there could be another set that comes out one day that uses this part. Because, you know, this slope is not an uncommon piece. It's just they haven't made it in dark red recently, and it's not available in Bricks and Pieces. So I got 16 from him. And then I was like, how am I going to get the other 20? Because uh, most of the, the sets that have it would have it like in a quantity of six. The sets would not have other parts that I would really feel like I want to get. 
So I ended up just finding another seller that had some. And it was this seller, <laughs> which is the Brick Orphanage. And this is all I bought from him. I bought 50 of them. So I bought, so I got 50, <laughs> ended up buying, uh-oh, whoops. I just threw one in the floor. So that's why I bought two more, because I, I was going to lose some of them. So I got like 66, ooh, I wasn't thinking. 60, I got 66 uh, of these, almost enough to do two uh, cafe corners. <laughs> I gotta find the one I dropped or else I only have 65. All right, I found it. All right, I got another comment from Drew and was asking, you know, trying to understand what I'm doing here. Like, for instance, buying these Bionicle sets, like wouldn't it be cheaper? Basically, wouldn't it be cheaper to just to do this, just to find sellers that have the parts at a low price on BrickLink and buy them? And it, it is in a lot of cases, and this is not practical. Uh, to buy sets sometimes <laughs> sometimes it is practical uh, but I thought it would be a good excuse to try out these Bionicle sets which is what I'm going to do yeah my son literally just asked me are you becoming a Bionicle fan <laughs> are these the, do these things jump oh no I think I just broke it these aren't the little flickering ones so yeah sometimes it is practical because the part out value even used can be high now it's not necessarily so with this set i think the part out value is double what i paid for it and these parts are in pretty good used condition but those you know things like the arches it's got three of these arches this is a part that people are always going to want for their cafe corners and it's only going to go up even more in value it's got these dark blue pieces here oh yeah as i say that they the Lego's probably releasing a new set that has it. <laughs> um, so this set has a lot of minifigures. If you count these little spider tarantula thing, I don't know what those things are. It's got these little guys that are kind of frozen in their position. I think these are the guys battling these guys. And I'm like, why can't you all just get along? Why y'all got to fight? You're all bionicle. You know, just get along with these guys. You don't have to fight. And it's got this little launcher that like hits those guys. Oh, just not one off the table. So I gotta be honest, <laughs> this thing is not the best build. It could be the age. Uh, these legs, these little scuttler little legs don't do very well here. He, oh, he's falling down. But it is a, it is a, a ram. It's a, so this thing does go back and forth. I thought that was pretty, man, it, oh, let me fix this. Oh well, I got it. <laughs> it's good. Enough. It fell down again, even after. Oh, this thing sucks. Why do y'all like Bionicle? This this is not. I I don't get it. <laughs> I thought this looked pretty cool when I was looking at it, but it's it's actually becoming a little frustrating. Was this a frustrating build for you Bionicle fans? Nope. It, I can't get it to stay. I can't get it to stay. So anyway. You got all these little spider things, and a couple of them are tied to this string that go to these green pieces, which just look way out of place. I and mean, I don't even know, it doesn't even show you where to attach them. And this is a case of where Lego changed a build. So I'm kind of glad I bought this set because it's one of those sets that they had one part in it and they replaced it later, which also meant a change in the instructions, but they didn't give you a complete look at the instructions. So this is the instructions. And I don't know if this, I'm sure, well, I'm sure the version I have is the later version that came after the first version because I have the revised instructions. Um, so it shows these little pieces that have the knobs on the end, the stud on the end, connecting to the spider, but clearly it's just a piece of string and it's going to these green bricks that have the notch in them. And I just attach mine there. I really don't know where I'm supposed to put them. Now they did give you an updated instruction sheet. This is an insert. This would have been inside the box. It could have been folded up inside the instructions. But it shows you how to, instead of, nope, don't do that. Do that. So it shows you how to tie it to the little thingy bobber there. But it doesn't show you where to put it on this. So I thought that was interesting. So is this rare? You Bionicle buffs out there, is this more rare? Oh, look, you make a pretzel out of it. Uh, I don't know. 
And how annoying was this to get this? When you see this in the instructions, it looks like it'd be easier. And why is this green? Everything else is blue. Is it this guy's stuff here? I, it just looks out of place with those green bricks there. I just don't like it. Uh, but, okay, I can probably see why Bionicle fans would like this set. Um, and later hate it after they played it played with it for a while and wore out the legs so yeah that's that bionicle set this is this is you but me asking you about bionicle why are you acting so nervous mm -hmm. and why are you sweating so much and why do you look so hungry and no no wait it's what's this supposed to mean this is a big misunderstanding you've got to believe me i listen i am telling you you better listen to me spongebob you like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? <laughs> you like Bionicle, don't you, Dad? <laughs> yeah. The set looks neat, but it's just... Uh, I. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it. Do, so Bionicle, if you're a Bionicle fan and you know about this set, whether you have it or not, is this something that you appreciate? I can't relate. I can't... I, I can't relate as far as like the story, the lore, and things like that. Um, so, I, you know, I guess it would be more about, you know, what does it do? How does it look for me? But, uh, yeah, I'm not crazy about that set at least. But it did look interesting when I first bought it. And I'm very glad. This actually interested me more than the set is just having the, the product change in mid-production. <laughs> So, I'm probably going to hold on to it. I'm probably going to have to end up buying the arches anyway. Because <laughs> I don't think I want to sell. Well, it does bring up the other question, though. Say, so I have this set. I, I verified that it's complete. If... Whoops. So, I got to take the phone out of the case next time. Hopefully, this thing won't pop off again. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm glad I got it anyway. Oh, so the question I was going to ask, or the thing I was going to propose, is that if I rob it to put it in the other cafe corner, I would still have this set. I just wouldn't have two complete cafe corners. So I'm probably going to buy some more Bionicle sets just, just for the fun of it and then to see what I can do with the other parts. Now, I did mention the other Bionicle set I bought, the 8894 it was missing a ton of pieces. Had all the wrong minifigures. I think there was like one minifigure that was right. So that one's going to be a little frustrating. Because it, it's really hard to tell those Bionicle figures apart sometimes. Uh, it's a lot of different molds. A lot of minor differences. Even these little spider creatures have little variants of them. Oh, that reminds me. We need to go watch Loki. Alright, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'll be back tomorrow in a different t-shirt and maybe a different microphone setup. I don't think I like holding this. I'm wearing my Bragg shirt. This is from 1995. This bicycle actually looked like my first or my second, no, my second bicycle. It looks similar to that. Mine was a Schwinn, though. I don't know what that one is. But, yeah, we went to Savannah, I think, 95. Good year. It's the year the Braves won the World Series. Maybe in 2021, the Hawks will beat the Bucks. at least. I don't know if they're going to get any further in this series but we'll see anyway thanks for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow in a different shirt i'll be the one in a different shirt